Axel, our robot mascot, is looking pretty sharp. But to upgrade this sprite's appearance to the next level, we need to unleash the power of gradients. <laughs> a gradient is a visual effect where one color gradually fades into a different color. Used properly, gradients can massively upgrade your art game in Scratch, giving your drawings depth and sophistication. Used badly, which they often are, they can be a total train wreck. Scratch's gradient tools are part of the costume editor and can be accessed by clicking on the fill tool. You can pick from three types of gradients, horizontal, vertical, or radial or circular. To set the colors in your gradient, you'll need to pick a start color by clicking on the left box and adjusting the color sliders. Now click on the right box and move the color sliders to create the end color. Once you've created a gradient, you can apply it to other objects by clicking on them with the paint bucket tool. New scratchers often get frustrated when they very carefully set up the perfect gradient, then accidentally click on a different object. The gradient disappears from your color picker, but you can get it back by clicking on the original object with the black select tool. In theory, you can use a gradient to transition between any two colors, but in the real world, things rarely work that way. If you want your scratch art to look real, it's helpful to think of gradients as a tool for changing shades, not colors. Instead of picking two wildly different color options, select a main color for your object and then make your second color a slightly darker or lighter shade of the same color. If you apply this effect the right way, you can create the illusion that light is hitting your object from different angles. Vertical and horizontal gradients are great for shading objects that have straight edges. Be consistent in the way you apply the colors. To match up different edges in a way that looks realistic, you'll sometimes need to flip your gradient by clicking on this arrow. For objects that have a round or irregular shape, you're usually better off using a radial gradient. The color in the left box will appear on the inside of the circle, and the right color will appear at the edges. You can use the paint bucket tool to move around this highlight so the light appears to be coming from different angles. One powerful technique for using gradients is to make one of the colors completely transparent, which you can do by clicking on this symbol. You can use this effect to create realistic shadows around your objects or to simulate rays of light. Now that you know a little more about gradients, try doing an extreme makeover on one of your own projects and see how gradients bring your drawings to life. I feel the liftoff. The clock has started. Roger.